Hey everybody, uh, Jim here with uh, the first edition of More Games. Uh, which, what the hell is More Games, you might be asking. It's just a pickups video, basically. Uh, what I've been playing recently, etc., etc., stuff like that. So as I uh, continue to pick up games and my game hunts, new games, old games, what have you, uh, we're gonna have some nice little sit-down chats like these. Not reviews, mind you, the reviews are coming back, show review can, but we're gonna just chill, uh, talk about some games, and sip some coffee or some beer, whatever the time of day warrants. Um, obviously coffee today, or at least you're assuming so. There might be beer in there. Um, wanted to do this, shoot a nice pickups video. Um, I wanted to shoot either at like uh, Tokyo Video Gamers or a nice arcade or something. Just find a nice quiet spot and shoot one of these because I thought, you know, it might make the background look nice. But um, as you can see, really gloomy, uh, rainy day out there. So I'm actually not going anywhere today. And uh, yeah, why is the series called More Games? Uh, because I got uh, my friend Apollo to make that really cool artwork for me. Um, that I ended up putting on t-shirts and coffee mugs and stuff link in the description buy my merch um, And I was like, you know what? This is really cool artwork. I want to use this for something. Hey, how about a series called more games? So that's what we got today uh, For this edition of more games. I actually got this nice stack of Nintendo switch shoot 'em ups uh, I am quite the Nintendo switch player these days um, as my retro collecting has slowed down quite a bit, uh, Nintendo Switch is, you know, my go-to console right now, and especially since they have uh, so many good shoot 'em ups on there right now. This is not, you know, I still have plenty more, um, but these are the ones that I picked up recently. I've been playing a lot recently, so let's check some of these out. Any of these uh, will get my recommendation, um, and I will be actually doing full proper reviews on these coming up soon. But uh, for now, let's just. Um, take a quick look at some of these, starting with uh, this game right here, Andro Dunos 2. And Andro Dunos 2, um, obviously the sequel to the original, which was a Neo Geo game on the, I believe, MVS, and maybe it got a release on the AES, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this, as far as I know, not from the original team that made that game, uh, this is put out by Pixel Heart. Um, and it's fantastic. It has, uh, you know, kind of like the, the modern retro look, the, the pixel graphics look, um, but extremely well done. Really beautiful graphics in this game. Um, really colorful. Love the backgrounds. Love the designs of all the ships, things like that. Really big boss enemies. Um, your ship is, um, I don't know, kind of adorable looking. It's, it's a, a cute little ship for such a kind of an intense shooter. Um, but essentially, the premise here, uh, you have four different uh, weapons that you can cycle between, and uh, each one can be powered up individually. And uh, you don't have super bombs, but you have super shots. And when you use that, you're temporarily weakened uh, until it recharges. So, like, strategic use of your super shot is uh, how you're going to get through this game. Um, but it's really fun, uh, really nice visuals, really great soundtrack. I uh, love it a lot. I mean, there's um, no uh, multiplayer, which is, uh, you know, something that you, if you like multiplayer in your shoot 'em ups you might not be happy with. And there aren't, like, a ton of gameplay modes or anything. There's really just uh, the straight-up play through the arcade mode. But it's such a good arcade uh, mode, just um, a great shooter in general, that you'll probably be happy with that. Um, so, yeah, again, great visuals, great sound design, really fun gameplay. Um, challenging, but not, like... Um, not like frustratingly so, like some of the games we're about to look at here. Some of them are a lot tougher than this one. Uh, so great game, uh, put out by Pixel Heart. Andrew Dunos 2, uh, Switch, pick it up. It's also available on a bunch of other stuff. There's like a Dreamcast version, and I think like PS4. I think there's even like a, a 3DS version or something like that. I don't know. They released this for a bunch of stuff. Andrew Dunos 2, really cool. Uh, next up, speaking of games that can be kind of like difficult and frustrating, uh, did pick up a copy of R-Type Final 2. And um, even though the R-Type games are like really difficult shoot 'em shoot 'em ups, and uh, I I get really frustrated with them for whatever reason, I keep going back to R-Type. Maybe I like I'm just really loving the challenge or whatever. Um, but they're typically a lot of fun. R-Type Final Two, which uh, that's kind of redundant. How can it be the second final? This is like Friday the Thirteenth levels of um, dishonesty in the title. Um, but 
so this game, like, I've seen mixed reactions to it online. Some people really like it. They, you know, okay, this is great. It's our type, but there's a whole bunch of others. There's, like, different weapons and ships and all kinds of stuff you can unlock. And it's still brutally difficult. And then some people are like, no, this game sucks. It's, like, too frustratingly hard. You have to die over and over and over again and unlock better ships. And then you can, um, you know, continue on through the, uh, the uh, main arcade mode. Because you start out with, um, I think, three ships to choose from. And uh, as you play and die, which you will, you get points and then you can spend those points to unlock like better ships and better weapons and things like that, which makes it easier uh, to get through the game. Um, so it's, it's really punishing, unforgiving. Um, like the first level or two, or they're not, they're not too terribly hard, but after that, uh, this game can really kick your ass. There are a bunch of different difficulty settings though. Um, there's like a very easy, and I think there's like a child setting or whatever. Um, so you can adjust that as need be, but yeah, it's still like a, a really difficult game. Um, there is lots of stuff to unlock. Uh, the visuals are pretty nice, I think. The soundtrack um, is okay. Like our uh, type games, uh, as far as I'm you know concerned, have never really the, the soundtracks have never been their strong point. They're not like a Gradius or something like that. The gameplay itself is like slow and methodical, so the music is typically. Um, not that kind of like really heart pounding music I like to get from shoot 'em ups, uh, but still, you know, I do like R Type Final 2, uh, even though it is a, a royal pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, there it is R Type Final 2 on the Switch. Uh, it's also, I believe, again on like the PS4, probably some other stuff too. Uh, if you love R Type, absolutely love it, pick this one up. Um, but if you don't love R Type, probably pass on this one because it's again, it's it's uh, brutally difficult and not the most popular amongst our type fans. Um, next up, this is something that's uh, really cool. Uh, this is Raiden 4X, the Mikado remix. And if you don't know what Mikado is, it's um, uh, an arcade here, or actually a, a few arcades uh, here in Japan. Um, probably the most well known of the like retro game arcades uh, in the country. And they, they have YouTube channels that you can go and check out. They do like gaming tournaments and uh, super plays and all kinds of stuff. They always have stuff on all their channels. Um, but a, a, you could almost say like a famous arcade, one of the world's more well-known arcades. Um, and they put out their own version of uh, Raiden 4, which is awesome. I'm a Raiden fan. I've played just about every game in the series and even though, like, there's, <laughs> they're, they're all basically the same game. You have, like, the same power-ups and everything. It's just the, the stage layouts, the enemies, and the, the bullet patterns, and they just get more difficult, and there's more gameplay options, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that's what makes this a series that's, uh, you know, continually worth coming back to. So this game, on its own, I mean, there are a bunch of different gameplay modes. You can play the uh, just original arcade mode, and there is, I think it's called additional mode, where it's it, there's extra stages and other various things. Um, there's multiplayer. There's a mode where you can actually control two ships at once, which is really kind of um, it's 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 challenging. It's just you know a little distraction. I, I don't think, or I'm, I mean I'm not gonna say that somebody definitely could beat this game that way. Um, people are capable of anything, but it's probably not something you're gonna spend too much time on. But it's a cool little addition. Also. There's uh, arranged uh, uh, music here, so they, they got some uh, musicians to do fully like arranged soundtracks for, I think, like a couple of the different gameplay modes. Um, so there's the original Raiden Force soundtrack. There's a new soundtrack that was commissioned by, I guess, the people at Mikado. Um, so all that stuff. There's uh, game, various gameplay modes, and a uh, soundtrack is updated, and um, you know other cool stuff like that. And at its core, it's Raiden 4. If you like riding, you're gonna like this um, because it's a lot of fun and uh, it's challenging. Again, nice graphics, awesome soundtrack. Both versions of the soundtrack are just amazing. Um, so this is something lots of people are gonna have lots of fun with. Uh, yeah, Raiden 4X, the Mikado remix. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, next up, two here. These are actually shooting collections uh, put out by M2 Shot Triggers, which I've enjoyed a lot of their releases in the past. Uh, so I was excited for these. Uh, first up, we have Kyukoku Tiger Heli, and it is the Toa Plan Arcade Garage. And what this is, is they they just compiled all the different versions they could 
of Tiger Heli and Kyukoku Tiger, which is also known as Twin Cobra. So you get the original arcade mode of both games. You also get a super easy mode. You get a custom mode where you can tweak various um, options with the arcade. So you can give yourself auto bombs or adjust the difficulty or, or when you get uh, one ups and things like that. You can do a lot of things in the custom mode. Um, so those are all applicable to the arcade mode, but then I mean if you want to play the Famicom version of Tiger Heli or you want to play the Mega Drive version of Twin Cobra or if you want to play the NES version of Twin Cobra, that's all in here too. They include everything. I mean every port uh, of these games is in here and uh, they're, they're just they're done really really well like it's, it's these are great ports of all these games so um, I had already played like Tiger Heli and Kyukoku Tiger on like the Mega Drive and Famicom and stuff like that. I don't think I'd ever actually played the arcade version of either game though. Um, so this was awesome. Uh, I had just having all these various versions of both of these games. Um, so that's really cool. Kyukoku Tiger uh, Heli, the Toa Plan uh, arcade garage, and then the follow up to that, and this was the one I was really excited for. Um, because I'm a bigger fan of uh, these games. Um, this is Hisho Same Same Same, the uh, Toa Plan Arcade Garage. And this has uh, Hisho Zame, which is Flying Shark, which is cool enough on its own, but it has Same Same Same, aka Fire Shark. Um, which is just awesome. Fire Shark is one of my favorite Mega Drive shooters for whatever reason. It's like it's really simple, but it's a lot of fun, and it's like the only shoot 'em up on the Mega Drive that I've been able to clear without dying. Like I play a lot of shoot 'em ups, uh, but I'm not especially good at them. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Fire Shark is one of the ones that I just I played it so much, um, and I found the difficulty manageable enough that I was able to finish it all ten stages. Um, without losing a ship, um, so that's cool. But here again, you get the arcade versions of both games, which again, I never actually played the arcade version of Fire Shark, so uh, that was like great actually getting to play that. And again, there's the arcade mode, there's super easy mode, and then there's the custom mode where you can uh, work with all kinds of different options. And then the same thing for Flying Shark, and then you also you get for Flying Shark. I think there's like a Famicom version maybe some other kind of version and then for um for fire shark you get uh the mega drive version or the genesis version and i think some other various versions too um so there's just a whole lot of content here and then uh, i didn't say this with the other game um but they threw in additional games so for this one uh, it's a game called pyros which is kind of like a, a ghouls and ghosts sort of uh, imitation, which isn't very good. Uh, the other collection had, um, I think it's a game called Get Star, which is also not very good. Um, so when you pick these up, you're, you're picking them up for these awesome shoot 'em ups and all the various versions of them. Um, you're not really gonna care about the little bonus games they threw in, probably not, I didn't. You probably won't too, um, or I'm assuming so. If you're picking this up, you're probably picking it up for Fire Shark. But anyway, totally awesome. Um, yeah, uh, Hisho Zame 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 Toa Plan Arcade Garage. Big, long title, huge. Um, but it's Fire Shark on your Switch or I believe on your PS4 as well. Um, get it, it's, it's awesome. If you love these older Toa Plan shooters, 80s and 90s stuff, Sega Genesis stuff, there's even a, a, the PC Engine port of Twin Cobra on the other one. Um, I mean, there's just so much to love with these collections, they're great. And uh, last, but certainly not least, another little collection. Um, this is Death Smiles 1 and 2. And I am a huge fan of Death Smiles. These games are a lot of fun. I'm a cave fan in general. Um, you know, big fan of like Dodon Pachi and Akai Katana, stuff like that. But Death Smiles, um, these games are especially cool to me because one, they're really great shoot 'em ups They're really fun and challenging. But I love the aesthetic, the kind of like uh, gothic, um, I don't know, almost nightmare before Christmas kind of aesthetic they went for, uh, which is just, it's great. So I love the visual designs of these games. The first game especially, um, love the 2D artwork there. And then the second game is cool too, it's Christmas themed. Um, I don't think the 3D polygon graphics look quite as good as the original game, 
Um, but still, uh, great looking games, amazing soundtracks on both of them, and then the gameplay is just fantastic. Um, if you've never played them, uh, side-scrolling bullet hell shooters, you can fire, fire in either direction, and uh, you select from a group of little kind of like uh, gothic, baroque era dress, like orphaned teenage girls that fly through the air. They're like, and they use their magic to destroy all kinds of monsters and things. Um, so yeah, beautiful visuals, great soundtrack, absolutely amazing gameplay. And this being a collection, um, let's see, there's a whole bunch of different um, uh, versions. So there's original Death Smiles, they have the arcade, the uh, version 1.1 and then the normal mode which was made for consoles i believe when they released these on the xbox 360 then you have the death smiles mega black label which is very cool it changes a lot of things gives you an additional character um, other various uh, alterations to the gameplay and that also has the arcade version 1.1 and normal mode and then you get death smiles 2x which again is the version that was i believe released on the xbox 360 and you get the arcade mode, you get an arranged mode, and then you get a 2X mode. Um, so that's awesome. So you get basically uh, three different games with three ways to play each game. And uh, that's, so that's a whole lot of uh, shoot 'em up to play. Um, a lot of fun. Again, just, uh, you know, some of the best. A lot of bang for your buck on this one. So Death Smiles 1 and 2 on the Switch. Also pick it up for whatever else it's available on. I imagine, I'm actually 100% believe it is on the PS4 as well. Pretty much anything I talked about here, you can also pick it up on the PS4 um, if that's your bag. But I've got all these on the Switch, uh, so I can play them on my TV here. Um, I can take my Switch to go and play some Death Smiles or Fire Shark on the train on my way to work. Um, and that's really cool. So anyway, all right, that's it. That's it for this edition of More Games because yes, I'm gonna use that artwork every single time. I love it. It's the Tar Man version of me. Who doesn't love that, right? If you could have a zombie version of yourself, I guarantee you would, and then you would make an entire YouTube series based around it. Yes, you would, don't deny it. Um, anyway, so that's it. Let me know down in the comments. Have you played any of these? Have you picked them up? What are your thoughts on them? Personally, I'm, I'm enjoying everything I picked up uh, recently. And again, uh, full reviews of some of these games will be coming up uh, courtesy of Show Reviewkin, which are in the works right now. So look forward to that. Um, but uh, that's it. Uh, go ahead, check out down in the description. Um, as I alluded to earlier, um, the more games design that's on t shirts and other things. There's also other various logos and t shirts and stuff you can find. Uh, on my spread shop. So if you want to pick up a t-shirt or something, the link is down in the description with links to other various social media stuff like my Twitter and Instagram, whatever. I'm not too active on those things, but it's there. Um, if you would like to follow me on that stuff, if that's something you care about at all. And uh, again, with that being said, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you on the next edition of More Games. Take care. Goodbye.